and welcome back. So the plan today is to do a waypoint flight, unlog it, so then what we can do is can use that in future flights. So this is gonna be a mini series of how to do this. Make sure my hat's on, right? So uh, I'm gonna make sure I've got hit record on my remote so I don't miss anything. So that's now recording. So, so yeah, so the plan for this is to, to get a log and to, to simply show you how this is gonna be, but I'm gonna try and make it as quick as possible. So do your free flight check. So the weather, as you can see, it's quite nice. I'm gonna turn the drone on, make sure you do your flight checks on the drone. It's gonna come on in a minute. So now that's on. While we're just waiting for that to load up, you can see the map in there. So also, we can get rid of that. So also in here, you want to check to make sure in the map that you've got no issues whatsoever. I've already checked, so there's no issues whatsoever. So we haven't got no flight restrictions. So I'm close to, to home. But you can zoom in, zoom out. And you can see in there that we've got no caution. We haven't got no satellite positioning uh, signal at the moment. We're just waiting for the drone to kick up and get up. I don't like to take it off until it's got all that. So then we've got a home, home point updated. So we've got, currently we've got seven satellites. So we're just waiting for that now. So we'll give that a second and then it should come up, home point updated. So there we go, home point updated. So now we're good to go. So now we know it's clear. We've done all the pre-flight checks and we've checked to make sure that we're safe to fly around this area, which I've already done before I got here. So what we're gonna do is we take off and then we're going to jump straight into uh, waypoint and a point of interest uh, and then see how this goes so i've done it once before this is the second time so hopefully it's going to go right so i'll see you in a moment now the drone's up in the air so what we want to do is make sure that this is set so we've got obstacle avoidance so when this comes back home if it sees anything it's not going to cause an issue so currently at the moment i've got it on uh, cine mode which it's showing as normal mode actually on the drone so I've got it in silly mode, uh, and we just want to check in the settings to make sure that that is right. So to do that, we're going to jump into the settings quickly. So the top right-hand corner with the three bars, three little buttons. And then on there, as you can see, we've got to uh, break currently set. So we need to set that to bypass. So then what that'll do is, if it comes up to an obstacle while it's flying, it will go around it rather than just go straight through it. So that I had it set to bypass uh, whenever I do anything like this. So normally I have it on brake in cine mode and the reason why I have it on brake is it's not so choppy, it's not trying to get around and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's that. So we're gonna go back out of that. So now we've got a bypass. We need to make sure that we've got return to home set to height. So I've got auto return to home altitude at 95 meters. It's roughly about the height we're gonna be. So 95, 90 meters up. So that's how high I want it to be. So we're gonna come out of that and go back. So now what we want to do is set our first viewpoint. So we're currently 25 meters. We're too close to them trees I'm comfortable with. So we're going to go up a little bit. You can see the road there. So I like to do a little scan, not in anyone's property, but like just a quick scan to make sure that there's no surprises because the last thing you want is a surprise while you're flying. So, uh, so yeah, so we're always already running away with the time there. So it's four, four-ish minutes. So uh, I'm gonna try and keep this to a minimum, but uh, they've all, already started laying the bricks to this. So uh, you'll see uh, just prior to this, that uh, the footage was a couple of weeks ago when I first saw this area and scouted it out and thought that'd be good for a uh, nice little playlist of how to, to use view, uh, Waypoint. So what we're gonna do is gonna jump into Waypoint now. So we're currently at 33 meters. now. It's kind of all right. I'm going to go up a bit more. So right, we set it 50 meters. <laughs> There's no tree around here that I know that is 50 meters high. So we're going to start that. Right. So waypoint start. So we hit waypoint. It's top left hand corner. So it's telling you to press the C button to add a viewpoint. So that is C1, which is here. So that will give you your your first waypoint. So now we fit that. You'll see on the screen just there. We'll zoom in. And 
we've got a first waypoint there. So what we want to do is we want to move back. So we've got a nice clear shot of what we're trying to do. So nice area. So that's the second waypoint. So we've now got waypoint two in there. We're going to keep going round. And keep your finger on there. And just while you're moving around, This is like a funny plot, so it's kind of like not straight on or a circle. So you've got to be mindful that you've got all the shots of it in the camera. So while we're doing this, try and make sure that it stays around the 50 meter mark. So that's what we're going to aim for, 50 meters. We're at waypoint 10 now, so there's a reason why I'm doing so many. Because we want it to be nice and smooth when it takes the video. That's the aim for this, so, so yep. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got all our waypoints set. So we're gonna go in there and check, and it looks quite busy, like, there's a look at that. we will zoom out a little bit. We've got the rough idea. And if you look at the actual, each waypoint, it's around 50 meters. It's kind of really, really where I want to be. We can change that on a global setting. So, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But now we've got that, that's our, our basis of what we want to do. So you can see each camera angle and, and the pointing direction is different. So as you zoom in, you can go on to each one of those and then it'll give you your actual settings. So this is waypoint four, as you can see on there. And then you've got at camera action zero and then altitude, uh, global speed. So we can do a global speed. So that will allow us to do same speed throughout the whole thing. And you can change that through each waypoint. So, and then we've got the heading, um, gimbal tilt that's really important to make sure it's tilted right so you don't want to be taking a picture of the sky you want to be taking a picture of what you're actually looking at so that what we're looking at is <clears throat> where the houses are being built and then zoom and then hover so what we want to do is go to the first waypoint so we're waypoint number one and then we've got camera action so we want that to be start record so I'm going to start it recording at that waypoint. And the way the first waypoint is basically where I'm 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 stood. So we want to start there. So we've got so we've got a bit of record time before, and you kind of want a bit of record time after as well if you want to do this as a one-shot deal, which I don't. I'm going to use it as a phase, but that's for another video. So uh, so then we want to head towards the last waypoint, which is 29. So it's waypoint 29, and then on there we want to stop record so that will tell it now on waypoint 29 we stop record and you can see where the camera on the first waypoint is red and then the, the last one is white so there's a couple of ways of doing this but this is how I like to do it the camp the, the drone is on you can see the foot you can see the ground I brought it down because I'm talking to you got to keep line of sight and all that you know so we've got that now we're quite happy with that so we go out of there so now we've got all the settings, we've got point of interest, we're gonna do that on a different video. So keep tuned, subscribe, and all the rest of it. So we've got 29, I'm a bit conscious about this being a bit too long. So uh, we want to really go to global settings. So you press the right three dots in the corner. So now this is your global settings. So we 2.5 meters per second. So it's not the fastest, it depends how you wanna do it. If you wanna do slow-mo, like speed it up, slow it down, hyperlapse and all that, it's kind of good to do it slow because then when you do it in the post edit you can speed it up and it's not juddery or anything like that so we're going to move that up to you know mm, about halfway so end of flight 
I want it to just hover because it's just going to be above me. So that's uh, waypoint 29. So when it loses signal, this is really important. You need to make sure that this is set correctly. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of issues, especially if for whatever reason you lose connection. So we want that to continue. So you've already done the flight. We've already set out what we want to do. We know it's safe. We've checked everything around the area. We've checked the trees. Trees ain't going to grow 10, 15 meters in a week or so, are they? So, you know, and that's it. And then starting point is waypoint one. So you can take this drone off anywhere you want, place it wherever you want in the sky or on the ground. Remember, we've set it in the settings to go around obstacles rather than go through them or turn that off altogether and we're going so if you don't have that set when you do this when you go to take off and you just go right start it's going to go through a tree or whichever to get to that starting point whichever you set so we set it for 50 meters so the aim for that is to before you press start go you want to make sure that that's somewhere where it's safe so uh, why are we doing that so we've got a global set so we want to continue so i'm a Fairing off a little bit now, I do apologize. So we want to set that to continue. And now we're gonna take off, get it to a safe area, and then we're gonna hit go. Okay, so now we're above the trees, so now we know we're safe. We, we're above the trees to, to a certain extent. And now we do, all we have to do is hit go, and that's it. It's as good, as quick as that. So now you'll see the drone. It is in cine mode, but it's going to start going up to the first waypoint. I've already got the Sutton drone recording, so I can use this in post edit. So, you know, you can see what, what the drone is doing and so forth. So this is how I put the video together. So it is already recording. So we start with the first waypoint. It's moving back now to the, my starting point. So I like to have a couple of seconds before and a couple of seconds after. So it's going there and away we go, we're off. So I will talk to you when this is finished. See you in a minute. Okay, so now I've, I've landed the drone, so the next thing I want to do is, uh, I want to save it, but obviously I want to make sure the drone's safe to do that. So the next thing I want to do really is I want to save that bit of footage. So what we're gonna do is press next. So now that goes back to all the settings. So we want to go back on the global settings. So now we're back to the viewpoint. So each, uh, sorry, waypoint. So each waypoint, so we've got 29 on there, but we want to save that. So when uh, I'm in a rush, going to work or whichever, and I've seen they've made quite a bit of progress here, I want to just send the drone up, make it do the waypoint, and bang, away we go. So we're gonna save this. So that little paper, uh, paper clip or paper, A4 sheet of paper on the left-hand corner by the map. Uh, we'll come back to the map in a second. So we'll want to press on there. You've already seen I've deleted all the uh, all the previous flights because I was messing about with this. So now we want to save this. So we want to give this a name. So press on the little save button. Sorry, my apologies. Save as. So now we've got that saved. So that's now saved. It's got seven seven meters. So that's roughly the the diameter of how long I want to fly. So we want to give that a name now. So we're going to use, press on the little uh, pencil on the side of the 10 seconds for my example here. So we're going to call this original. So, and then space. Uh, 
and then press okay so now that is saved so we've got that now saved in the history logs so we can go back to that and I can use that as an example and we can adjust that when the drone is off and we're back at home so that brings me to the next one so I hope you enjoyed this I'm sorry if it's a little bit long but the next one's going to be a bit quicker so I have noticed they are going to be building houses I'm hoping a bit further down closer to the road so what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to use the waypoint that we've already got and then we're going to adjust that to go over to there um, so to do that uh, we're going to, to move it around a little bit and then we're going to do do things and then we're going to do a pre pre-flight and then as soon as we've done that then we're going to put that into uh, saved so we've got that saved as well so we've got like two videos if you like so if you like it's like subscribe and all the rest of it and i'll see you on the next one